Alright, so these guys, let's see, today's the 29th, and these guys were spawned the 10th, so they're 19 days old. So this is when they start to, oh damn it, he went too far away, develop ventral fins. If they've been fed the, <laughs> fed the proper diet, hopefully they will start to develop their ventral fins. Now, ventral fins are the last fins to develop. Okay, the ventral fins are the ones that they do a lot of like expressive gestures with. Uh, those two little fins that are underneath near their gills, that, those two little things. They're the last ones to develop and they actually don't develop until right about now, around the two to three week mark. Um, if they develop. So there's something weird in domestic betasplendens where sometimes if you feed them like microworms, for some reason there are a lot of theories as to why, and I don't know why this will not focus. Okay. There are a lot of theories as to why, but sometimes ventrals do not develop, okay? And then you're left with ventralis bettas that are perfectly fine genetically, but they just never develop their ventral fins. And then the bettas look really weird for the rest of their adult lives because it just, there's something missing. They look like a normal betta until you look twice at them and then something is like dastardly wrong. The only time I've ever had ventralis bettas is when I tried to grow them without baby brine shrimp. <laughs> and I tried to feed them just off of microworms because I thought it would be easy and um, they never developed ventral fins. However, ever since I switched to baby brine and um, grindle worms, sorry I'm using a flashlight and it's not, it's very difficult to film them this way, um, they've all started to develop ventral fins properly. So it was easier to see on that other one, but sometimes you could even see it on ones this small. They have like little nubbins where their ventral fins are, and you usually start to see the nubbins around this time. Uh, these guys have not started their swim bladders yet. Hopefully I can get a good fil film that when it starts to happen. But their bellies are white because they're filled with grindle worms. Okay, but they're just starting to get a little bit of color too. Metallic bettas, iridescent bettas, like the blues, they start to get sparkly around this age. Non-iridescent fish take quite a bit longer to color up. Sometimes they can take months. Yellows take like six months to fully mature. But at this age, um, they are starting to develop those ventral fin nubbins. Again, there are many theories as to why bettas that are fed on microworms don't develop ventrals. Some theories include that the microworms get on the bottom and then the bettas like um, are on the bottom a lot eating and then they like get some kind of bacterial infection that somehow irritates their growing ventral fins. Um, as you can see I have quite, you know, I have mulm at the bottom and that doesn't seem to bother them. I personally think that it's a nutritional deficiency that microworms are not supplying some nutrient or some dietary component uh, that they require when they're developing the ventral fin and then they just never develop it at all. So anyway, let that be the story. Always feed your fish a varied diet. Don't rely always on microworms, okay? So that you will not have ventralless fish. Check out this like army of snails. I love it. I just love snails and it means I can slightly overfeed the betta fry with grindle worms and then the snails come along and eat them all.
so I never have any dead and dying Grindle worms in here. Ah, they're so cute. And then they're gonna become food for my puffer fish. So, awesome system.